she's apparently pregnant or has an incurable STD because of him. So that, damn. So it turns out Fetty Potter was apparently dating and having sexual relations with a 14-year-old girl. There's proof. And he actually responded back to the claims. And then her mom responded back with all this evidence and proof. So uh, let's get right into it. All right, so we're going to read the response from Fetty Potter to what was posted about him being arrested. Um, it says, You may have heard or not, but on Wednesday, this girl who told me that she was 20 invited me via Snapchat to hang out, so we hung out at a park. We walked around and talked. I then drove her home. Some guy pulled her out, jumped into my car, took my phone, called the cops, tell telling me that I kidnapped her. Well, cops came. I told them what happened. She told the cops that she's 21. The guy was saying she was 15, so I don't know at this point how old she is. Then the cops asked me a whole bunch of questions. Then they told me to block her and cut all contact. Then I left. Her mom is very upset and accusing me of inappropriate behavior. I understand her concern as a mom, but I had no intention of ever meeting up with someone underage. Please don't attack her on Instagram. I've learned my lesson and I've never want to go through anything like this again. And that's what I figured is maybe uh, the pers the girl ended up lying to Fetty and said that she was older and they met up and hung out and just, you know, hung out and skate, no harm, no foul. But apparently the mom ended up seeing that and responded back uh, with proof and evidence that they that she was that he knew that she was underage and that they were actually doing more than just uh, meeting up and skateboarding. So the mom of the daughter saw the post that Jason, that I shared right now, the response, and she responded back saying, uh, basically sharing that as well images of him and saying, this is how Jason Simmel responded when we called the Oakland Police Department last Wednesday when he was discovered picking up our 14-year-old child and taking her on what I called at the time a day date. Unfortunately, it was so much more at the time. Her father and I did not have all the information and because of that, the police allowed 26-year-old Jason to leave. Uh, my daughter had since confided in me the truth about their ongoing sexual relationship and all evidence has been given to the police. I will continue to push for justice for my 14 year old child and I apologize to anyone that doesn't agree with the way I'm going about handling it. I pray that no one has to go through this and see this, that there is no correct parental response when a 26 year old man oversteps all boundaries and may now have gotten your child pregnant or given her an incurable STD. Wow, sounds like uh, Fetty Potter. Um, from what the mom says, is now accused of child molestation, and he is a skater perv, um, that they were in sexual relationship, and apparently pregnant or has an incurable STD. That's just crazy. So she responded to that, and there's also other things that she posted showing, so we're going to see that. So the mom ended up sharing two things, and one was a post of Fetty and the girl, and it says Jason Semmel told police on 911 that he had just met my 14-year-old daughter, that he had only walked and talked with her in the park, but that is not true. They had been in a romantic relationship since August 2019. And there's like a post of him with her and like a heart and stuff. And then the next thing that she posted was this right here, which is actually pretty insane. Um, it's an image uh, of the girl with hickeys on her neck and says, good job, Fetty. And there's messages between her and Fetty, Jason Semmel, saying, as you can see, hello, big hickeys. Sorry, let me see. Are you though? Okay, well, one sec, and it's all good. Makeup, leave my hair down, haha, ha, lol. And uh, then she's like calling him daddy there in another post. So it doesn't look too good for Fetty there. Um, obviously, you can see that he obviously gave her hickeys from what this post is saying. And from whatever the mom also said is that she's apparently pregnant or has an incurable STD because of him. So that, that just looks like that if uh, the police do investigate it and they can prove all this stuff is true. Uh, Fetty Potter uh, is probably going to be looking at some serious time behind bars as well as being labeled a child uh, molester, a pedophile. And uh, yeah, I just... I just don't think this is looking good for him right now at this point. All right, so along with the Instagram post, uh, the mom ended up 
posting a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm just going to basically read it off quickly. Uh, it says, Wednesday, our neighbor saw my 14-year-old daughter leave her house with a grown man while her father and I were at work. She was supposed to be home with her grandma doing online high school, so they called her father at work and alerted him. He went straight home, and of course, she was gone. Sometimes around 5 p.m., she pulled up with Jason Simmel, a.k.a. Fetty Potter, who works as a professional skateboarder for Braille Skate. He is 26 years old. Jason told the officers that he met her that day, and all they did was take a walk at the park and talk. He was under the impression that she was 20 years old, being 14, full of hormones, and confused into thinking she was in love. My daughter also lied to the police and told them she was older. Um, and that her and Jason were simply friends who I had just met to talk at the park. The last few days, however, have revealed plenty of digital evidence to convince me otherwise, and now I, I know Jason was lying. Last night, my daughter finally got the courage to be honest and reveal that Jason and her had indeed been in a romantic relationship for weeks and had met up numerous times, both during the day and night while her father and I slept. She didn't tell the police on Wednesday because she was scared and didn't want Jason to get in trouble or be mad at her or not. Not like her anymore he never cared about her age because he never thought anyone would find out about them the bottom line is the 26 year old man has been lying sneaking around picking up minors without their parents knowledge or consent and giving them a lot more than just hickeys to a 14 year old child this is disgusting and absolutely unacceptable and like i've said since the first day i will not be silenced by anyone so that this sicko can go do this to someone else's baby um so yeah i guess there's a lot more evidence and proof um that it, I know clearly states that Fetty uh, did a lot more than he states he did. And uh, like I said, it doesn't look good for him. And if she is pregnant and stuff like that, then, you know, if she has the kid, then they could test that he's the father. Or even if she has an abortion, I'm pretty sure they could take the fetus and uh, test that he is the father anyways. But regardless, this doesn't look good for him. If this does all end up in charges, he's going to end up in jail for a long time. And even afterwards, his career as a skateboarder is done. He's not going to be allowed in or near any kids, any skate parks, anything like that. And that's just unfortunate, but that's just how it goes sometimes with people. Uh, it's just That's just crazy, though. I just thought I'd share all that with you. But anyways, I know on my last video about him, a lot of people are giving it the dislike, and they're all like hating on it because they're like, you know what, Fetty Potter, is a cool guy he didn't do this and you know she lied to him and stuff but you know what this proves that he's actually lying to all of you guys so that just makes you wonder um you know how, what kind of person he really is and if he's that type of person what kind of people that he hangs around with are like what are they like you know the other revive and braille guys because you know they're you know it just makes you wonder just all i gotta say it just makes you wonder but anyways you guys can comment down below what you guys think about this situation and i'll keep you updated on what goes on and like this video and subscribe and share it i guess to bring more awareness that uh what's going on with the uh, fetty potter